Here are five simple steps to model and control complex curvy roofs in Revit. Before we start, in the description, you will find the resources used, the image, in the second link. In the first link, you can support me and download all my project files and family files. Let's start with step one, which is create walls. I will use an image, so from the insert tab, import image, select it and open. Press RE on the keyboard after inserting it in the viewport to scale. And just go to architecture tab, wall, use any tool you prefer. I will use the start and radius arc since these are four interconnected circles. We will go to step two, which is creating the roof mass. Go to the 3D view using the house icon on the top toolbar. And in this 3D view, we will do almost everything. So go to the top view using the view cube on the upper right side and go to massing and site, show mass and click on in place mass. Name this one roof and click OK. I will use this spline through points tool in the draw panel and add a point wherever a curve starts and wherever it ends. So placement plan, I would like level two to be my placement plan and add the points. Here is one curve, add one point at the middle and a start of what another curve and the end of it. So let's repeat that here. I would like the curve to start here, stop here, and at the middle, then another curve at this end. We can copy, so let's click on this line, a reference line with its points, CO to copy it after selecting it, and just Press once, left mouse click, and drag the mouse to where you want to paste it. Hold shift in the keyboard and right mouse click to drag or navigate the view and see these points. Let's say we would like to see these points. Go to the visual style and change it to wireframe. Now, you can see how these points are generating curves. Let's add one middle curve here and an opposite side curve here. This is only a, an initial form thought, so we will still go into controlling and changing the form but now i would like to select these lines and create form use hold control to select the lines and press on create form at this point we have this type of roof surface select the boundary lines and make sure they are colliding or going Harder than the um, surface, the walls, the walls exterior line. So let's select these lines and this one too. Now imagine that these walls are attached to that roof because we will create a void that makes this roof only on the, on the circular plan. You can use the shaded view for better appearance or to see the form better, but it still is possible to use only the hidden lines. 
The third step is controlling the main form. Click on the mass that you created. If you feel that any curve is not how you would like it to be inserted onto that plan, go to X-ray and press. Now you will see the control points and this middle line. Revit automatically projects a line in the middle of the roof surface. This line is also controllable by selecting the points upon it and changing their, uh, their placements. The main lines are changing for the mass. Control existing curved surfaces, remove points by selecting a point, then pressing delete on the keyboard. Or Add points to the spline through point by going to the draw panel, select point element, activate the draw and face, and add points on the spline through points. Press escape, then hold control to select a point or more, and click on make point driving. This point will define a curve. We can also control and regenerate our roof surface by dissolving it. Hover over the roof surface, press tab once and select it. Then click on dissolve. Now, if you add another spline through point, the whole roof will adapt to it. So let's try adding one here. It doesn't have to be on certain surfaces, but since we are using the 3D, I will try to keep it simple. Select the old lines and the new spline through points while holding control. Then click on create form. The new form is based on that new line. You, we can see it on the shaded view. And now we can go back to our work. Now the next step is the fourth one, roof by face. Go to architecture tab, go to roof drop down and click on roof by face. Select the roof surface and create roof. Change the visual style to shaded to see the roof properly. Select the walls by hovering over one wall and pressing Tap on the keyboard, then left mouse click once, attach top or base, and select the roof. Some problems might occur when the curves are not um, are touching the the base level properly. Probably, so let's take this level downwards. I would like to take it two meters, um, negative two meters, not positive, Ugh. negative two meters, and then reapply the attach top to base. Okay, now it's working. You see this weird form. We can still also encompass it only on the circular plan by using a void extrusion. So the fifth step is adding a void. So go to the top view, delete, make sure, uh, press tab and make sure you select the basic roof, delete that basic roof and Select the mass, edit in place. To add a void for this uh, roof, for the outer side of this roof, the best step is making a void for this half and the other one for the other half. 
we made that previously in a video for curved roofs as well. So select the outer lines of the first one and make sure when you are um, creating the outer lines for that void that they are not touching this surface of the roof because that will generate errors. Now press TR to trim and extend. And as long as there, is, there, there are no um, dark blue dots here, your profile is ready to be a void form. Now we can select the upper surface since this is not cutting the whole roof and just drag it upwards. Now press anywhere outside and you will see that it was cut. Now we need to cut the other side. Repeat the same steps. Make sure that you are not touching roof lines. Just to be safe, I would like to drag this one a bit outside. TR and we are ready. No problems here. Create form, void form. Select the lower surface and drag it downwards. Go to the top view and we can see now how that looks like. Also, we can add more voids. So let's say we would like to add a circle on each, uh, inside each circle. So select the circle tool and, or any tool or any form. So that's just for practice. You, you get the point. We need to create each void by itself. So select the cylinder. The other voids as well so select each circle and drag it down to cut the surface after making it a void form if it's not cutting you can always go to cut geometry and select both surfaces for the cut to apply. After that, finish mass and finally regenerate the roof by going to roof drop down, roof by face, select it and create roof. I would like a different type of roofs. Now create roof and Maybe hide that mask by hovering over it, pressing tab once, right click, hide in view, elements. Now select the chain of walls by pressing tab once and attach top base, select that roof. And here we have it. That's quite weird, but I think it's also nice. Additional tips, you can change the type of walls to curtain by going to the type selector in the properties panel and selecting curtain walls. A problem will occur initially, but it can be fixed. So you see that needs us to go to edit type in the properties panel and assign a layout. I will use minimum spacing here and for the horizontal grid as well. Maybe add mullions as well. Press OK. And that's it.
after finishing the mass, we still have control over the roof mass. Select the mass by revealing hidden elements since we hid it previously. Use tab to select it, then right click unhide in view element. Turn off the reveal mode and select the mass. Click on edit in place. And now let's add uh, an edge. Let's add an edge for this roof. Click on add edge in the form element panel and add one edge here. After applying the changes, click finish mass. Select the roof surface and update to face. Any problems that you face with the walls attachments to the top, we need to edit face selection, select the face and recreate roof. Hope that was useful. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and share it with your friends and with people who are interested in Revit. Thank you.